Before we go through the setup of build agent, very quickly I want to show you how you install TeamCity on a Mac uh, computer because you might have a Mac at home and you want to install TeamCity just to practice and learn it. So we should be able to install it and know how to do it. So we should start with opening a terminal window and when the terminal window is open, just type in java dash version okay you should get java 1.8 or above okay if you don't get anything that means you do not have java and you need to install jdk so if you don't have java use my famous technique which is unleashing the power of google and just searching for download java you can optionally add oracle and it gives you the download page of oracle so if I click on this big Java button, I go to a page that has the detailed Java and you have two Mac OS packages in here. We can go with the DMG file before that, just accept the license agreement and download the DMG file and run it. That will install JDK on your machine. And that's all you need to do. I already have Java on my machine, so I don't do that. Otherwise, I would have to just install this Mac OS version of JDK and install it on my machine. Once JDK is on your machine, click on Get Team City, and from the drop down, make sure you have chosen Linux Mac OS. It's quite a big package, it's 1.2 gigabytes, so it might take a few minutes for the package to be fully downloaded. Once the package is installed, we find it with Finder and you just have to double click on it because Mac knows how to unpackage that file. And then in the folder that is being created, there is a conf folder for configuration files and there is a bin folder for the binary files. If we open the conf file, there is a file called server XML and you can open this with any editor that you have or use Visual Studio Code. What we can see in this config file is that the connector is working on port 1181. So that is the port we have to use to access the web interface of TeamCT. Port 8111. And after that, we just have to go back to bin folder and open a terminal inside bin folder. If I get a list, you will see that we have all sorts of files. The interesting thing is that you see there are batch files and sh files. So there is, for example, startup.bat and startup.sh. That means that the package we have received is basically just a Java application that can be executed both on Windows and Mac OS. The package we need to run is run all sh. That is because run all sh basically runs the team city server as well as build agent because we are installing this whole thing only for development purpose on a mac machine we need both team city and the team city build agent so to run that we can just say sh run all then sh okay i run this for now you will see that it says we have to pass a command which is either stop or start because i'm going to start the team city server and the agent i just say run all.sh start and that will start the process of team city now we need to go to browser and go to http localhost 11 11 and then team city setup comes up we need to click on proceed and wait and because again we are only setting up this for the learning purposes on the local machine it's fine to use the internal database we click on proceed and we wait until all the components are initialized depending on how fast your laptop is the uh, license agreement page this page will come up and then you have to read it carefully make sure that what it says makes sense to you you are not abusing the service and then click on continue button and then you will go to setup admin page where we have to create an admin account so i just type admin and you provide a password this is the basically root account in team city and using this account later you can run builds and then you can create users and set up everything so as you see team city is up and now i can basically start using it